So I've been doing travel photography for a long time and there's a lot I know, but there's a lot I wish I had known back when I started. I wish I had known this at the beginning. You don't have to go out and buy expensive camera gear for your travel photography. Yes, the quality is amazing on these lenses, but you know what? It's really great on mobile phones as well and you're not gonna kill your back. For travel photography, I have been getting amazing photos and videos from mobile phones for quite a while now, both on the iPhone and Samsung Galaxy especially for video. Now the biggest negative we used to have about mobile for travel photography was low resolution and an overall flat look, i.e. no background blur. But late model phones now have portrait features for both video and photo and they're a joy to use on the road. Plus, people you will meet will be at ease when they see you with the same camera they own as opposed to that big clunker. I wish I had known before I started in travel photography how important it is to do research before you go somewhere. I don't know how much time you have for vacation, whether that's two days, whether that's a week, whether it's two weeks, maybe it's even longer, but research will really go a long way. Do you want to be spending your precious time once you're away searching for the best photo spot? Search searching for where to get your great, great sunsets, finding out if the sun is going to rise on that side or this side. Well, you could do that all by watching videos like PhotoWalks TV right here, going to tourism websites, doing searches, going to Flickr, going to other, other sites like that and looking this stuff up before you get there so you can hit the ground running. I wish I had known this when I started in travel photography. I could read all these books, I could take classes, I could watch all these YouTube videos. No knock against mine, but you know what I'm saying. The best way to learn is by editing your photos. That's where you find out every mistake that you made. Why did I cut off the person's foot? Why do I have a tree coming out of their head? Why did I use these colors? Why didn't I crop it a little tighter? I shot a wide shot, why didn't I shoot an ultra wide shot? Why didn't I get a horizontal and a vertical? Why didn't I come in closer? Why didn't I come, come away further? That's where you learn. And of course, once you start editing in a program like Apple Photos, like Google Photos, like Adobe Lightroom, you can take your photo to the next level. Editing is where you're gonna learn your mistakes and then once you put it into a program, you're gonna take it from a snapshot to a masterpiece. I wish I had known back when I started that, that you may have m multiple lens choices on your phone, but the One X lens is the one. It's the keeper. It's the sharpest. It's the best in low light. I have wasted so many great opportunities where I'm taking pictures on the telephoto lens or the ultra wide lens and in, in low light and they would just fall apart. The One X lens is the lens to use 90% of the time, trust me. I wish I had known when I started that the most effective zoom is not 3x, 5x, 10x, you name it. It's zooming in with your feet. It's getting much closer to the action. You'll be much more effective if you can pull it off. If you're in a crowded area and there's a bunch of people in front of you and you're worried about getting to the front of the line and hurting their feelings and having them yell at you, no, it doesn't matter. You're never going to see these people again. This is what it's all about. Your shot is what it's all about, and you just want to get nice and tight, and you will get a much more effective photo. So those are some of the things that I wish I had known. Hope you can learn from some of my mistakes. Questions, concerns, let me hear from you in the comments below. If you haven't done it already, please do me a favor, subscribe to this channel right here on YouTube, as well as the newsletter, jeffersongram.substack.com. Please stay tuned for more episodes of Photo Walks TV, and I'll see you, everybody, on the next Photo Walk. Bye-bye. Yeah,